Well, Taylorsville City officially launching its own police agency. That transition happened overnight. Yeah, this does come after the city decided not to renew its contract with the Unified Police Department last summer and move police services in-house instead. ABC4's Jillian Smuckler got to ride along with one of the officers during their first day with the new department. She joins us live with more on what residents can expect to see. Jillian. Emily Glenn, after eight years with the Unified Police Department, the city of Taylorsville is officially parting ways, and there's a few reasons for this. I'm told they wanted to have more local control over police services, policy, and budgeting, and they believe that this will allow them to use taxpayers' money more efficiently. First day, let's roll. After a competitive interview process, the wait is finally over. We're day one, and we're ready to go and get out there and get back to work. A year full of planning, interviewing, and a whole lot of research came to an end at midnight. Okay. Yeah. I'm gone. 63 people handpicked from agencies near and far took over the streets of Taylorsville, ready to get the ball rolling. So how was their first day? I got to ride along with one of them to try and find out. I mean, we had 30 or 40 officers that went on duty right at the start, uh, along with our chiefs, uh, the chief and both of the deputy chiefs. They all went out at the exact same time to pretty much just go out and make a presence in the community. Their goal is to meet the specific needs of the 61,000 people who live there. Any issues that the community is seeing, they can bring we bring forward and then take that to our department administration and address those issues. And the new department will work closely with city administration and civic leaders to ensure proper policing and checks and balances are in place. Because everybody is handpicked, yep. that might alleviate a lot of people's oh, ab concerns. Absolutely, and, and we know. And it was, like I said, I, a large percentage of the people that came on for Taylorsville are completely known mm -hmm. to the people that they were selected by. They've worked with them, they know how they work, they know the type of quality work that they put out. Mm -hmm. There's not an unknown. Internal investigations, a civilian advisory board, and training of less than lethal force are just a few of the ideas already being discussed. If something's done wrong, there's going to be accountability there and there's going to be transparency there. And like I said, our, our interactions are recorded on audio and video. And by retaining local control... We hope that this will feel like their police department, like Taylorsville, our community's police department. It's important to note that I reached out to the Unified Police Department for comment, but I have yet to hear back. Keep in mind, when this announcement was made over a year ago, a sheriff of the department said that this separation will have a, quote, measurable impact on the department. This includes a reduction in size, which means some people will have to do more with less. Reporting live in Taylorsville, Jillian Smuckler, ABC4 News.